distance from the Great Pyramid of Giza to the Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl in Teotihuacan is 6,666 nautical miles. Is this just a numerological coincidence or is there more to the story? If we convert 6,666 nautical miles to meter we get 12,345,432 meters. If we read it digit by digit we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2. If we add 10 centimeters to the distance we can read the number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, point 1. If we remove the comma the distance measured in meters is both a Demlo number, a palindromic number and a natural sequence number. It is a palindromic number because you can read it same forwards and backwards. It is a Demlo number because the square root of this number is 11,111 or 11111. If we measure the distance in degrees it's approximately 111 degrees. Whether we measure the distance in nautical miles or meters, we both get a palindromic number. Both the meter and the nautical mile is based on the circumference of the Earth. In the 1990s, author and researcher Robert Boval proposed a theory that the three major pyramids at Giza are aligned with the three stars that make up the Orion constellation's belt. Boval noted that the relative positions and sizes of the three Giza pyramids mirrored the alignment and relative brightness of the three stars in Orion's belt. He believed this was intentional and that the Giza pyramid layout was meant to serve as a symbolic rep representation or map of the Orion constellation. Bouval linked this to ancient Egyptian beliefs, arguing that the Orion constellation represented by the god Osiris was of great importance in their mythology and cosmology. Interestingly, a similar alignment with the Orion belt has also been proposed for the three largest pyramids at the ancient site of Teotihuacan. The Pyramid of the Sun, the Pyramid of the Moon and the Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl at Teotihuacan appear to mirror the relative positions and sizes of the stars in Orion's belt. Some researchers have suggested this indicates a possible cultural or symbolic connection between the ancient civilizations of Egypt and Mesoamerica, with both potentially referencing the same celestial orientation. Both the Great Pyramid at Giza and the Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl at Teotihuacan are proposed to occupy the same position in the Orion Belt Pyramid alignment as the star Alnitak. If we go to Teotihuacan in Google Earth, and measure the distance from the Pyramid of the Moon following the Avenue of the Dead until we reach the entrance of the Ciudadela where the Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl is located. The total distance will be exactly one nautical mile. This can of course be written off as a coincidence, but it can be an indicator that the architects knew about the nautical mile. Another thing the Giza pyramids and the pyramids of Teotihuacan have in common is an extensive network of underground tunnels and cave systems. In the case of the Giza site, the ancient Egyptian name for the area was Rostau, which is believed to mean mouth of the passages. This suggests the presence of a complex subterranean infrastructure beneath the famous pyramids. Similarly, the Teotihuacan site is also known to contain a labyrinth of tunnels and caverns running beneath the surface. Archaeologists have uncovered numerous passages. Excavations have revealed an extensive underground tunnel running directly beneath the pyramid of Quetzalcoatl. This tunnel is believed to have been constructed around the same time as the surface pyramid itself. The tunnel extends for over 100 meters with side chambers and alcoves branching off from the main passage. Interestingly, the tunnel appears to have been designed with specific astronomical alignments hinting at its potential ritual or ceremonial purpose. This tunnel is just one of many fascinating subterranean features that have been discovered at the Teotihuacan site. It highlights the advanced engineering and cosmological knowledge possessed by the builders of this ancient Mesoamerican city. The majority of research supports the idea that Teotihuacan was systematically pre-planned 
The way buildings were designed and positioned in Teotihuacan suggests a master plan from the very beginning. Symmetry and proportional spacing of structures reinforce this idea. Researchers used fractal analysis, a mathematical tool, on radar images and aerial photos of Teotihuacan. They confirmed the existence of a master plan. Imagine a well-known fractal pattern called the Sierpinski carpet. It's proposed as a model for Teotihuacan's layout in a two-dimensional space. This specific dimension is suggested as the basic unit linking the Mesoamerican calendar and the building's measurements. It's like a hidden code connecting time, the calendar and space, the architecture. Inside Teotihuacan's master plan, information about space is expressed across flat surfaces like the Sierpinski carpet. Information about time is conveyed through the vertical structures of the pyramids. Teotihuacan's architectural planning, fractal analysis and hidden connections between time and space make it a fascinating ancient city.